Hi, it's Amanda, and I wanted to come to you on a topic. This is his standard lifted part two. Earlier, I was on a scope talking about God is lifting the standard. So I wanted to come to you with part two, his standard lifted. He shout about order of a sita. That's some good news for somebody on here today. I'm here to let you know, my friend, I don't care what you're going through. God is a God that can do anything but fail. Now, I must warn you, if I see any ignorant comments, I'll be forced to block you and to remove you from this chat, okay? All right, the purpose of this thing is to bring encouragement. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So I don't get on here and claim to be perfect. I'm giving my testimony. They overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. His standard lifted. Let me give a little foundation here. I'm not here to teach you, counsel you, or go against leadership. Um, the Bible says don't forsake the assembling of yourselves with other believers. You know, we can work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We can pray for our leaders. We can lift them up. But I'm not trying to get on here, hallelujah, and tell you what to do. He shut up order of a seat to ask the Lord for wisdom and submit to authority. It's that simple. But I'm here to encourage my network. So I want to look at Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about today, I'm talking about his standard lifted. Whose standard lifted? God's standard lifted. He's lifting a standard against the pressure that's coming against you in your life. He's shut up by order of a citerosia. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. He lifts up a standard. He shut up a cita. It's that whole thing. God won't put more on you than you can bear. You pray for somebody. Somebody pray for you. I pray for somebody. Somebody pray for me. It's that simple. God said he will hear the cry of the righteous. And that's why he tells us to pray without ceasing. He shut up a cita. I don't care how much that devil is trying and jump you around. He wants to sift you as wheat. He shut up a seat, but he don't have the authority to do it. Oh, praise God. He shut up us yeah. And Job 34, 12, it states, Hallelujah. Yea, surely God will not do wickedly. Neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. Is that good news for you today? It's almost like you're telling on somebody. You don't know what they did to me, though. Yo, no, no, I'm trying to, I'm going to tell my side of the story. Understand, emotionalism, hallelujah, each shut up a seat is not what gets you delivered. Hallelujah, your faith. When you apply your faith, he shut up us here. You can speak to the mountain. Do you know prayer is a key component? You can um go to a bathroom stall. He shut up a seat to He shut up a seat to when you pray in secret, God will reward you openly. And we bind up every demonic terroristic. He shut up a seat principality coming against us for terror in the name of Jesus. Shut up a seat The purpose of this scope is not to be signs up, honey. The purpose of the scope is to bring encouragement. And we just read about how God won't do wickedly. He shut up a seat Do you know the kind of perversion it is? He shut up a seat to that when you trying to bring encouragement, the enemy coming at you with terror. Mm -mm. Get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. He shut up a seat because his standard was lifted. Hallelujah. It's kind of like when things escalate, he shut up a sita and people can do what they want. And then they see somebody come around like enforcement, you know, and then they calm down. I'm here to let you know that God has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And this is Psalm 91. You don't go have to go stressing over your children. Isaiah 54, 13 states, and all my children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of my children because his standard has been lifted. He shut about order of a seat you don't have to fear terror terror shall be far from you he shut about order of a seat the lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed understand and believe that his standard has been lifted he shut up a seat i'm not telling you something i heard i'm telling you something i know hallelujah it's by the lord's mercies that we're not consumed because his standard has been lifted I'm going to look at 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. You don't have to dumb down your praise. He shut up a seed to Rosia. As long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. He shut up or of a seed to Rosia. Man shut up a or of a seed to the Lord is righteous. He has cut asunder the cords of the wicked. He shut up a or of a seed to because his standard, God's standard has been lifted. You got to have an understanding of this. He shut up a seed to don't don't let your mind play tricks on you. Understand that God's standard has been lifted. He shut up Oraba Ushataba. I want to look at a few other scriptures that I believe will help to encourage you on today. Ushatamansia. Oh, this is good news to somebody today. 
Watch your time. I'm going to look at Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is something that you must reinforce consistently. He should have a seat to understand that God's standard. He should have a seat to Rosia. Thank you for the beauty tips. Hallelujah. But God's standard will be lifted. He should have a seat to see. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Hallelujah. Because his eyes in every place beholding the evil and the good. He should have a seat to see. I got these gold earrings on. Hallelujah. I can wear silver earrings. I can wear black earrings. It doesn't matter what color the earrings are. Hallelujah. The earrings are not what give me the hearing. Hallelujah. It's what's in the inner. He shadabasya. Oh, yata braba. Oh, yata manta braba kuyata. He shadabasya. Hallelujah. It don't matter what color eyeshadow that I wear. He shadabasita because that's not what's giving me sight. Hallelujah. The just shall live by their faith. Hallelujah. He shadabasita. I don't got to wear a necklace. Hallelujah. I don't have to wear any type of jewelry. Hallelujah. But his standard will be lifted. He shadabraba. We don't have to get distracted here. Hallelujah. Distraction, hallelujah, is one of the things that will try to delay. Hallelujah. The standard being lifted. See, you can be delivered. Hallelujah. Not even be aware of it because you're so busy focusing on other things. We've got to learn how to be single minded. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Understand that the standard has been lifted. He shut up Whatsoever good any man doeth, the same shall they receive of the Lord. You've been sowing. Hallelujah. And you shall reap. You got to understand that. The Bible says to cast your bread upon many waters. You don't know what harvest is going to come up and when. Hallelujah. But what you understand is that when you sow, you shall reap. And we bind up demonic entities that want to interfere with my speech while I'm speaking. He shatabha Confession is made with your mouth, honey. He shatabha Remember what God promised you. Remember what God said. Hallelujah. And last but not leastly. Hallelujah. I want to look at a, a passage of scripture that comes out of Isaiah 43. I'll be getting at 18. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise, but thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast brought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices, for thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance, let us plead together, declare thou that thou mayest be justified. That's what I want to get to. Hallelujah. The part where it says, I even I am he that blot about thy transgression for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Understand and believe that God has lifted the standard. So you got to know this because see folks are real good at telling you, hallelujah, reminding you of all the worst things that you've done. He shut up a citrosia. That wasn't even good grammar. Hallelujah. He shut up a cita. But I'm so glad that God is lifting up a standard on today. He shut up. Don't fear terroristic hallelujah principalities. They have no power. In 2 Chronicles, it talks about how if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. So it's so important to understand that, hallelujah, and trudging ahead to the things of God. So that's all I wanted to get on here and talk to you about on today. Well, until next time, my friend, understand that God is a good God and the standard has been lifted. Shalom.